Hi there. I've just finished stripping this engine. It's a, a, a lovely old Irvine, see there, Irvine 36. Lovely, lovely running engines. And these were produced from about 1994. So, I don't know, what, nearly a 30 year old engine, perhaps 25 year old engine. And it comes with this lovely red anodized head and this is in really nice condition, which I'm, I'm quite pleased about, no marks and scratches. I think the engine's quite low runtime because it's you know, the piston's quite clean. Doesn't look like it's been taken out before, but it looks quite clean and, and, and carbon free. But I think it'd been sat a while because the bearings were a little bit gritty, and I thought, you know what, I'll change them out and I'll put some new bearings in and give the case a little bit of a, a little bit of a clean up in the process. When I was stripping it. The crankshaft came out easily with just a light tap with a mallet, but it left the bearings firmly held within the crankcase. Now, I thought I'd make this video and show how I'm going to take out the bearings and put the new ones in. It's something I've seen people struggling with in the past, and to my mind, there's only one reason that people struggle, and it's because they don't get the case hot enough and uniformly hot. I'm going to stick this in my kitchen oven and I'm going to leave it there on a heat of about 200, 230 degrees C for maybe 20, 30 minutes to make sure the case is lovely and hot. You can do it with a blow lamp, you can do it with a uh, hot air gun, but I think you don't get the kind of uniform heat and, and the same expansion you'd get by just leaving it in the oven. Just my personal view, the, the oven is, is, for me, is the best way to go. So I'm going to stick that in the oven now. Once it's up to temperature, I've got a good leather glove to grab hold of it, so I don't need to worry about the, the temperature burning my hand. And then I'm just going to strike this back plate onto a piece of wood, and the bearing should just fly out. I've had engines where the bearings have been really, really rusty in the past and you've had to give it a little bit more of a, a harder whack because the rust is, is, is kind of holding it in there a little bit. What I would say is this mounting lug here or bracket for the exhaust sticks out beyond the uh, back plate or where the back plate goes. And that's the same with a lot of engines, so you have to be careful that when you're striking it on the wood, you do it on the edge, so it's not actually putting pressure banging on this, on this part of the crankcase here, which could do some damage. So that's how we'll get the back out, strike it on some wood. For the front, it's a similar process. I'll hold the crankcase and I'll strike my fist and hit my fist on the wood, but not making contact with the front of the, the crankcase, because that'll prevent it coming out. That should come out like that. If it doesn't, I'll put a piece of dowel in the back and I'll just get a mallet and just very gently tap it and, uh, and that should come out with no problem. The crankcase might cool a little bit, so I might put it in the oven just to reheat it to take the front out, but probably not. We'll see how that goes and I'll film it and then we'll come back and we'll have a look at uh, how I'll put the bearings back in. Right, well the crankcase is in the oven and we're waiting for it to just come up to temperature. Right, well I think we're up to temperature, so let's get this crankcase out. Nice and hot. Bearing out one strike. Now, while it's still hot, let's see if we can get this front bearing out. Yep, and the front bearing out as well. Easy as that. Right, well we're now ready to put this back together, get these bearings back in. I've cleaned up the crankcase and that's looking really nice, I'm really pleased with that. Now I'm going to put the crankcase in the oven on about 200, 230 degrees C and leave that for about 20 to 30 minutes just to make sure that it expands nicely and becomes uniformly expanded, uniformly hot. Um, and then the bearings should slip in nice and easy. Now, to put the bearings in, I've got an open rear bearing, which I'm going to slide onto the crankshaft. That should just slide back nicely. And the front bearing is a double sealed bearing. Now, to, to fit these, once this is, the crankcase is up to temperature, 
take it out of the oven, obviously with a thick leather glove on. And the, the front bearing I'm going to have on a board with, the board's got a hole drilled in it, you'll see it when I do it. And I'll place the hole just below the, uh, the hole in the centre of the bearing. So, take the crankcase out of the oven and I will push it down on top of the bearing and just fit that in. Once that's in, I will put that back on the piece of wood. I will hold it with my gloved hand. I'll take the crankshaft and I will just drop that into place and that shaft should go through the front bearing and into the hole in the piece of wood. And I'll push that home with my gloved hand obviously. And then I'll take it up and I will just make sure that's fully pressed in and that this bearing is seated nicely in that front housing there and that it rotates nicely without any, uh, without any binding or stiffness. So that's the plan. So I will go and stick this in the oven now and we'll see how it goes. Right, well the crankcase has come to temperature in the oven. I've got my bearings, uh, front, rear on the crankshaft. So let's get this crankcase out of the oven. Now, if we just press down on that, and you can see how easily that's gone in. Now I put that over the hole and quickly before it cools down, just drop that into place, press it into place with my finger, make sure it's okay, and rotate it. I look in the top to check that it's uh, in place and smooth, and that's excellent. All done very quickly. Now I'm going to blow on this with a fan and cool it down because it's quite hot and probably hotter than the running temperature of the, the seals on the bearing. So I want to cool that down as quick as possible. Well, this engine's cooled down nicely now and it's rotating lovely. I can't wait to get it built up and in the test stand. These Irvines run really, really nice. I, I, I really like them. Well, Hopefully the video has shown you how easy it can be to take your bearings out and to put new bearings back in. It can, it can vary a little bit if your bearings are rusty, they might be slightly harder to get out. But for me I really believe that the trick is to get the crankcase hot and uniformly hot so that it expands enough that the bearings should just drop in and drop out when you're taking them out. So hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully that has helped you and uh, hoped you helped you doing your own bearings in the future so please subscribe and uh, please come back and see what other videos I've got and uh, if you fancy leave me a like and a comment thanks very much